be dead. Anyone who says pigs can't fly never witnessed Eric Walder's legendary leaps during his time as an Arkansas Razorback. With his amazing feats of gravity, Walder wowed the masses as he soared past his competitors to become arguably the greatest combination jumper in collegiate track and field history. In all, he combined to win 10 national championships in the long and triple jumps, which ranks as the most ever in the field events, and led the Razorbacks to four indoor and three outdoor NCAA team titles. And almost three decades later, he still holds the collegiate outdoor long jump record. Let's call the Hogs and call him a Hall of Famer, Arkansas's Eric Walder. Please welcome to the stage, Eric Walder. And presenting Arkansas men's head coach, Chris Bucknam and retired jumps coach, Dick Booth. Consistency. Um, I look, I look at your record and it's just win, 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 win. Um, does that ever become a burden that Absolutely. you're supposed to be the guy that wins? Absolutely not. Uh -huh. I just look at it like uh, it wasn't any pressure. I enjoyed it. Um, had a great bunch of guys that I uh, worked out with and competed with. So it was just a wonderful experience for me. Give me the line between um, I'm, I'm confident because I feel like I'm the best guy here and I'm going to win. But as we all know, if you get too much of that, any sport can bring you back down. So where's the line that I come in and I let, I want to intimidate everybody. I want them to know that they're jumping for second, but I still have to respect that group and the event. Well, I would say it was the relentless pursuit of happiness. And I'll just put it that way. That's it. That's it. If the other guys had been as happy as you, they also would have been able to jump 20 and 50. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's the way I looked at it. Golly, I jumped like 18.6. I must be the most miserable bastard in the world. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, amid all this success you had personally, though, you were on some great teams. What was it like to run for Arkansas in those absolute dynasty days? It was unforgettable. I mean, I was part of, I think, seven championship teams. Wow. And each one of those championships were different and unique among itself. So it was mm -hmm. a great experience. How'd Coach Matt get you? Because, like, I mean, he likes distance guys. <laughs> he also likes jumpers as well. <laughs> You're in a, le a line, uh, a, a legacy of jumpers. What's it like to be with Conley and, and, and Edric and yourself and, and pup, those that was, came after you? I was the pup of the group. Mm -hmm. You know, you have Mike Conley, you know, Edric Floreal, you know, and a list of other jumpers. Uh, Gary, Gary Johnson, for instance, so Brian Wellman. So our jump camp was just like a uh, mini Olympics kind of, so it was very... Very exciting just, just to show up every day and compete. Wow. Eric, is there anybody that took your breath away the first time you saw him? Um, so many people I can think of, but uh, Carl Lewis, as I would have to say. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, Carl. It, where's Carl? He had that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> I think they went, Carl Lewis, oh my goodness. You know, you jumped just as far as Carl Lewis in a lot of time. Did, like, did you ever put your head around and like, oh, wow, I, I can jump sometimes as far as Carl Lewis? I mean, There's I like three guys in the world that can say that. <laughs> I never, never thought about it. I just competed. <laughs> yeah. But isn't that something, and, I, and we chuckle about that, isn't it something at some point, we make so much, this is a sport that we have a vast record book and we keep track of, you know, uh, it's the fastest at altitude, it's the fastest, not at altitude, it's the fastest, wind aid, it's, you know, all these marks that we try to keep track of. But at some point, the goal is to finish first. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody with an Olympic medal and I go, well, how far did you jump to get that? <laughs> you know, I mean, do, do, you ever, do you ever think we overvalue that? Not necessarily. I think we just value ourselves on how much we compete and how much we put into training mm -hmm. yeah. and satisfaction that way. Yeah.